for the first time in about five years, five or six years, the Falcons play a meaningful game on Sunday. A meaningful game, one that in the long run could affect the playoff standings. And it's insane that we're talking about playoffs, but being two and two through the first four weeks and seeing the culture and identity of this team being laid before our eyes and the guys getting behind everyone. And now the team is starting to click as one unit. We can talk about it. We are in the position through the first four weeks. We are a 500 football team. We run the ball well. We play good defense. And now it's time for us to go up against a real team. So, obviously, we play one of the toughest games we'll play all season. At the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and we face Tom Brady. We've never been able to beat Tom Brady. Every Falcons fan knows that. He is like the fucking devil to us. But things are different. I'm not saying that the Falcons are going to win. Let me go out and say, do I think that the Falcons win on Sunday? No, I don't. But do I think that, but I'm going to say this. I think that we have the best chance to beat Tampa Bay and beat Tom Brady since he has came to the NFC South, since he's arrived in Tampa Bay. I think we got the best chance to beat him we have had ever since he came to Tampa Bay. We have a strong running game. We have a we have an acceptable defense. And Tom Brady is going through a lot of stuff personally. Obviously, these reports about the divorce with Giselle potentially looming. I'm sorry. But Tom Brady is the fucking goat and there's no denying it. But that is in the that would be in the back of the mind of every human being. I don't care how good you are at something or not. That's gonna be in the back of his mind. And that, along with Tampa Bay, is not the team that they've been the past couple years. The offensive line is downgraded. Chris Godwin, I believe well, I think Godwin's back, but I mean you can see. That offensive line losing Ryan Jansen to injury and Ali Marpet retiring, it is hurting that offensive line. You can tell it. And Kansas City just dropped 41 on their defense. Now it's Kansas City. They could probably drop 40 on just about anyone. But you see that this is not the same Tampa Bay Buccaneers team from a couple years ago. Which is why I do think that the Falcons do actually have a chance to win this game. Now, if we do want to win this game, we have to come out and we have to get after Tom Brady. That's what we have to do. Grady, he's had a pretty damn good start to the season. He's going to have to get after Tom Brady just like he did in the Super Bowl. Ebiketti, he had that sack against New Orleans. He's had a couple plays. You see he's getting back there. He's got to take down Tom Brady. We get to Tom Brady all game. Because we know he's going to be mentally fucked up in some capacity. With the reports that got out this past week getting out, we know he is going to be fucked up mentally. AJ's going to have to hold his own against Mike Evans, which he's shown he can do. Chris Godwin, our corners, have to do their jobs, but it has got to be on this pass rush defense-wise and on offense. Keep it up. Keep it up. Arthur Smith. Needs to run the piss out of this damn football. Ran it 14 times last week against Cleveland. That is what led us to the win. Tyler Algier, Caleb Huntley. Big game for those two. We want to win. Those two have to have a big game, particularly Algier. I like Algier. I like what he can do. This has got to be the big breakout game for him. Obviously, I'd love to see Drake London get involved. And Kyle Pitts, well, he was on the injury report with the Julio Jones injury, which is another thing. This is the first time Julio's facing us since he's left Atlanta. So, if nothing more, this is the type of game where he would go off. 
Now, am I concerned about Julio as much as I am Mike Evans or Chris Godwin or even Russell Gage? No, I'm not. Julio's the fourth best for best receiver on this team, but you can't let him go unchecked. You cannot. With that being said, I'm going to say it again. The Falcons have a chance to win this game. They do. But we have to get after the quarterback, and we have to run the football, and Mariota has to make smart decisions. You cannot fumble the football. We cannot have that horrendous 7 for 19 again. When you are passing the football, you have to complete the passes. You have to take what's given to you. I don't know if Kyle Pitts plays. I hope he does. I hope you can finally get him going. Although, I don't think this is the game you do get him going. I hope you can get him going. Drake London. I think, if one thing is for certain, I think you can get Drake London going in this game. Tampa doesn't have that good corners. This is the game where you get Drake London going. Mariota, he doesn't need to make the mistakes. Not lose us the game. But majority of on, of it on offense is going to have to fall on our run game. That's what it is. And it's going to be great coaching, which Arthur Smith showed that he can do last week. So what you did last week, you're going to have to turn it up to an 11. You're going to have to play a great game to beat Tampa Bay, but I think we can do it. I think the Bucks win 25-21. I think it's going to be a close game. I just think Tampa Bay pulls away in the end. I'm not ready to give the confidence that our defense will be able. Because, see, there is a big difference between the Cleveland Browns, Jacoby Brissett, and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the fucking GOAT. There's a big difference between those two. I'm not ready to give the full confidence to the defense yet to say that they can finish it off for a win. But I think we got a chance. We don't need to blow that chance. Big game on Sunday. I'll be streaming it. Link to the streaming backup channel in the description. Let's go Falcons.